Uh, so that would be a, a win for them. Kabachi tries this one from long range and well collected there by the Zambian goalkeeper. Now I see much time in terms of uh, what they want to tell almost everybody here. It was Zambia with the opportunity to move forward. Now with a chance now to shoot ball sent to the right hand side and now he's been shot feebly. Yeah, there was no power on the shot. Chumbo Seke coming in from Zulu. That was, that was a good play from them. They actually find the space, use the width, cross the ball perfectly away. Unfortunately, the finish wasn't that good enough. Unavailable today as uh, the Zambians have been able to uh, push and allow them to get the opportunity to move in there. And this time, it's going to be a bit scrappy once again. The prolific uh, players on this team. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go where the way she expected it to go. This thing's up on in football. It's really up on in football, so hopefully she gets... There's a free kick here on the right-footed one. It'll be drilled into the far post and... Push the ball down to the right-hand side and looking for space to shoot here from this angle. And this shot certainly is not able to beat the goalkeeper currently in charge, Nali. Chanda also has the space. Chanda! And again, effort also very feeble to also threaten the goalkeeper. Players against Morocco in a warm-up match in June that ended 1-0. Scored twice for Kabashi was in press there. She was she was expecting the referee to allow the game to go on because they actually have good opportunity there to continue. Give a lot of a boss away to the Tunisians who effectively had to leave this ball into the box and looking for some bit of an energy in there to deal with it. Away. Lovely play and this time it's again shot feebly. Only here. Lifts the ball to the far post again. It's Nali who has to deal with it and she collected beautifully. Positioning was pretty tight for her. She was able to deal with no pressure on the ball as well. Oh, she, she, she looks really composed. Here comes the Chumba. Lovely pass here to uh, Zimari Mapepe. And shouts it forward. She goes to the ground. It's going to be a penalty for Zambia. It is. It's been given. They tried. They fought. And then it's been given. Zambia gets a penalty. Rania Una. Zambia the penalty. Marama Pepe, in the moment she came out, yes. yes. That, that is what you want to see, like, in the, in the team. The Zambia, the women's team, they are very, they're, they're very straightforward. That this one um, will be able to give them the edge of the Tunisians. Chumba goes in. And this time, Chumba! It's a plus wide! Would you believe this? Chumba just amazingly blasted wide over the roof there. And so the scoreline still remains Zambia nil, Tunisia nil. What a miss. Fortunately, they, they missed a great uh, opportunity. Jamara, Mapepe again, surging forward. Ochumba, that's well to win it. Ochumba still moving. We're trying to pick uh, the decision there from the referee now. Chanda. Well, the issue here is that uh, the Tunisians were complaining that the ball had crossed the line, so it's going to be a, a throw in. But the assistant referee did not raise the flag. And so the ball had to go out fully. It's not like part of the ball has to go out. So they have to understand that. So you have to play by the whistle. 41% of uh, possession over there. And uh, you can see one Pepe again moving forward. And again, there's going to be another clash of uh, players there. And so. In as much as they might get injured, I think sometimes it's even more for the for the players to get hurt. Well, in your heydays, uh, Richard, you did find yourself interesting. There's been 10 touches in the opposition box, and that's been the Tunisians really looking to. Yeah, the referee just gave something, and it's going to be a question to be asked. A penalty has been given to the Tunisians. That was a throw here, and. This is where the referee thought it was a handball decision. Well, that interesting here. Was she blocking the shot uh, with the arm or was she trying to uh, prevent the ball from hitting there? That's the question is going to be asked uh, here. And so there you have it again. And uh, it was a run deep in there. And, ooh, a little bit uh, contentious here. But uh, wait to see what the VAR is going to say about that. Yeah, let's wait for the VR team is going to be. Sometimes. But you see the ball hitting 
I think she tried, she tried, to, her body. She tried to take her hands away. I don't, I, I don't know. Officials, official Maria Rivet decides that that uh, is not going to be a penalty. Yeah, because she tried, she tried to take her hands away. Time and that's a decision there. I think that was a good decision. Great. Could push Chanda. Spotting the run on the right hand side. Another lovely ball into the ball. Chomba! From the right hand side by Zulu. And uh, that, was that was a chance. That was a good beat. That was a good build up. That was a good one. Lovely build up. And uh, it was a moment where the uh, Copa Queens thought they were going to get a goal, but there was. Hit it deep into the half of uh, the Tunisians, and he had to take the goalkeeper to palm that ball away. Out in a rightful way because that would have surprised the Tunisia team. Out to the flight of the ball, eventually came in, and here's look. Another opportunity of Chomo missing, and this time again is declared off the line. But the flag is up for the side. He's already been busy there. Temple just the ball back in, and this time it is Lumu. Copa Queens currently exposing the Tunisians. Look at the ball whipped in here. Zulu was let, lurking around all along. And she's behind this ball, whips it into the box, and. I think this is a really, really dangerous position if they can hit the target. You can see the Tunisian, they're trying to take the ball to the Zambia team, knowing that they're going to foul them. So this is a tactical one right here. Excellently deals with it. Then this position, the positioning in goal is really impressive and the way she keeps the ball. And also execute this one if she does want to execute it really well. And she has! She has! I told you, left footers, they are really, really dangerous players. Chucked about her! They are dangerous players. She's telling us and much. certainly she back. brings excitement back in the team. We've seen two set pieces executed. Are you surprised? 17 goals from 15 games. And look at Nali. Nali, she's... Do you remember what you said? Yeah, but I tell you what, this is the quality we're talking about. The decision whether the goalkeeper was impeded there, was she? No. She Absolutely wasn't. not. She wasn't. Yeah, Copa Queens. I tell you what, that was an exquisite ball into the box there. She executed it beautifully. Perfectly well. Now, VAR would have to come in again and decide whether the, the, the goalkeeper was impeded, whether something happened in the box there, if that you, one. If you, if you ask me, I will tell you right now, nothing actually happened there, but uh, the referee has to decide this one. It is going to be an offside. That's, that's unbelievable. That's the decision here. The flag stayed down, and this is... She, she didn't have contact with the ball. Oh, my God. I, I don't know what to say right now. I'm speechless because the the player she had no contact with the ball and the ball. Chander again. She's always uh, in the very good areas there. Lungu looking for an effort here, and uh, it is going to be. Uh, but Shimba, she has been really, really creative. Another opportunity missed there. Pepe now, it is a good job there, Mapepa sets it wide, it's going to cake it is. Mapepa, she has, been, she has been really, really phenomenal in this game, trying to drop the ball in the right place in the box. And the ball in again, this time it's been picked up nicely. This is what you want to see from your goalkeeper. This is the territory, and she come, get the ball, and then everyone is safe. Another corner kick to the far post, then she comes out, she's been crushed down. And the referee thought it was a, a legal tackle. I, Meantime, I, here it's going to be an opportunity. It goes back. They're just absorbing all the all the pressure from the Zambia team. You know, like I said, with this Zambia team, don't count them out. And you have to wait until the referee say it's game over before you can. You would know that okay, they can score again. Or... Maintain that performance. Tembo with the long ball in here. And this time, it's an opportunity and it has been hit in. I told you. And it is the Copa Queens. They have been waiting for this moment. And they seem to have gotten it eventually. Their effort rewarded. Their fight eventually been given the victory they deserve. And the Copa Queens deserve this one, don't they? They do. I told you, never count this team out. Until the referee say it's game over, then we fight to the end. What a goal! What a goal! Look at that. 
What a goal it was, what a time to get this goal and it's going to be opportunity, Grace Chan are really getting a second goal, Akashi! Oh no! Ha! Oh, my word! Problem there, the right foot is not working, she's not able to hit the balls in, in. and I'm not too sure what the issue was. She that cannot was... just get the ball deep into there. They are really proving beyond every doubt that the team that qualified and made it to the Olympic Games, the team that shook almost everybody, the team that took out the indomitable lionesses, the team, Copa Queens, who have the opportunity to score a late goal against Tunisia. And so they got top on the group table. Crash falling faces, disappointment it is there for the Tunisians. And that's happening at the end of the game. It is Zambia 1, Tunisia 0.